Let's have a conversation about a viewer who actually sent us uh, an email, a series of emails for that matter. And he said, I need an $83,000 startup business loan using EIN only. I'm a new LC. I have no revenue yet, but the sector is fantastic. I'm, a, I'm actually in a sector that has a great opportunity. My FACO score is 692, so I need help. So in today's conversation, we are going to cover the whole thing and really uh, help this, uh, this viewer actually get his $83,000 startup business loan using EIN only. And viewers, you are also welcome to participate, to actually pitch in. So I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome back first to another edition of uh, the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you already ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we are speaking about a viewer who says that he needs an $83,000 startup business loan using EIN only. This is for a new LLC that has no revenue yet, but there is a great opportunity in the sector and so he has a FICO score of 692. So let me first tell you what's really going on. And this is for our beloved viewers. And uh, I'm just going to summarize for you, give you a synopsis of the case. I mean, basically, we have actually exchanged emails with uh, this viewer over, over the last uh, five weeks. But this is a summary. So his name is Travis S. Travis, I know you are currently listening. You're currently watching. That's pretty good. You are 38 years old. OK, you are a male, of course. And you have a luxury, you have just opened a luxury auto body shop. This is fantastic. This is a great sector. You're right. There is a great opportunity in, the, in that sector. And the business started seven months ago. So the business, the, the LLC that you have started seven months ago. And you currently live in Fort Worth, Texas. And your business is also located in that city. And you need $83,000 for startup cost, all kinds of cost, you know, operational cost initial cost and you say opportunity is huge i'm going to come back to this opportunity is huge thing what does what does that really mean exactly okay your faculty score is 692 and last year you made 56 56 thousand dollars by doing various gigs okay so you are you are expert in auto body and uh, you basically have done a few gigs in the past and last year you have made fifty six thousand dollars so folks viewers dear viewers here is here is the synopsis of this case and so you have a clear understanding of what we're talking about so please feel free to pitch in again i want to make sure that everybody pitches in because we are trying to help travis get the best advice possible so travis if i ask your questions during the conversation please feel free to answer those questions in the comment section or you can just send us an email and answer the questions so that we can further help you because the thing is you're in the emails we, we have with you we ask certain questions that you did not answer to and we didn't we did not just you know our team didn't have the, the time to actually uh, go back again and again and again on, on the same question first things first travis son the thing here is that you need to understand you you need to understand the requirements for an ein only startup business loan and based on our conversations with you we think you do not understand see a lot of folks love the idea of an ein only business loan especially for a new business but they have no idea they have they, they just to not they, they haven't taken the time they haven't taken the time to familiarize themselves with the concept so you need to learn what lenders are looking for very important the first thing you want to do is when you apply for a startup business loan make sure you you learn what lenders are looking for lenders sometimes look for a specific time in business even if you're a startup listen you can be in business for three months and still be considered a startup so 
what is the minimum time the lenders want you to be in business? Is it three months? Is it uh, four months, six months, and whatnot? So it's very important. Now, do they have requirements for the for your personal credit scores? I mean, you might be thinking, well, I thought this was an EIN only business application. Yes, it is. There is no dichotomy. There is no conflict between asking for your personal credit scores and uh, having an EIN only business loan application. You know why? Because the lender wants to make sure that your personal life, your financial life is stable, especially if you're a startup. If you're a startup and you're asking for an EIN only business loan, do you better have a clean financial life on the personal side? The lender might ask you to have a business credit score, but in your case, because you're a startup, you don't have a business credit score. So you don't have a Paydex, you don't have an, a, an Equifax business score, you don't have an Experian business score. So what I'm trying to say here is what? In a nutshell, I want you to really be clear about the requirements for the EIN only startup business loan that you are asking for. Okay. And you can get this loan from an alternative lender, such as Toro Capital from an online letter such as uh, Lendio, which is a marketplace, or you can get, you can even get it from a, a, a traditional bank or credit union. Yes, you can, that, you, you can actually do that if you have a strong relationship with the bank or credit union on the personal side. See, relationships matter a lot and you can parlay your great relationship, your great personal banking relationships into a uh, multi-thousand dollar, multi-billion dollars lending program on the business side. It's very important. So first things first, make sure you understand what EIN only business loan application for a startup means. And son, I want you to be careful here. I really want you to be careful because before you get into the whole thing about, you know, I need 83 grand for my startup. And I wanted you using EIM only, no personal guarantee, all that kind of stuff. I want you to beef up your own personal financial situation. I said this before, you are asking the lender a lot of stuff. You're asking the lender to actually trust you. You're asking the lender to trust because you don't have a business. You have a startup. This is totally different. Okay. So you are asking the lender to trust you. So the thing here is that you have to have, you have to beef up your personal financial situation. The thing is you also need to have projected financial statements for the startup as well as the business plan so you you have to do two things you have to do you have to take care of your personal situation your financial situation but you also have to take care of your business's projected financial statements and business plan so when we the whole thing we're talking about here is what we are we want to make sure that you put forward your cash flow position at the personal level so when, when i say personal financial position i just means that you have to explain to the lender that you are stable cash wise your cash inflows are more than your cash outflows on the personal level when we talk about personal financial position we also have to talk about your credit score personally okay the thing is understand me well understand me well when i'm talking about your FACO score versus ein there is no contradiction there is no dichotomy here because again the thing is if you are a startup and you are asking the bank or the credit or the lender to base their underwriting decision on your EIN you got to give them something you got to have some skin in the game so you got to have a polished financial position on the personal level and part of that per, that financial position is your credit score they're not basing their their decision on your credit score but it, it is part of a whole compendium of things that they look at to make sure that they are in right in right hands that your business is in, is in the right hand, okay? But on the business side, you need to project an air of assurance, an air of optimism. This is why you need to have projected financial statements, projected income statement, projected balance sheet, projected cash flow statements, okay? And also think about your collateral. The lender might ask for collateral. Yeah. You know, if you are trying to, you know, so you want 83 grand for for the auto for the luxury auto body shop, okay? But think about equipment financing, for example. So you actually you you can finance uh, or you can you can uh, yeah finance you can finance some machinery through the loan so that the loan is collateralized. This is kind of cool. And also th know more about the industry. Okay, the lender you want to apply 
the lender you want to choose for the business loan make sure that they have uh, actually done deals in the auto body shop industry in the, in the automotive uh, industry in the past and so they have a clear idea of what we're talking about because the last thing you want is to talk to a lender who has no clue about the industry you're in solution idea number one travis son what I want you to do right now is to decide what type of loan you need to fund your auto body shop, your luxury auto body shop. What kind of loan are you looking for? This is quite essential. We got to go back to the origins here. Let's go back to the origins. Okay. The thing is, if you want to finance less that you want to finance a large purchase or a business expansion for your auto body shop. You can go for a traditional term loan, right? Those are lump sums that you pay back over time with interest and often have high borrowing maximum. So you can get like a quarter of a million. I mean, the good thing is you're looking for only 83 grand. So this is kind of cool already. I mean, that your, 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 your amount is not really that high. When we talk about business loans, 83 grand is not really that high. So this is really good. So you got to be clear about what type of loan you need. Now, if you need funds for day-to-day -day expenses, business lines of credit or a flexible kind of finan financing that lets you tap into finance uh, funding as soon as you need it. If you want to cover expenses, let's say you need to uh, cover payroll expenses or unexpected repairs, this is kind of cool. Okay, again, right now you you know you are making fifty-six thousand dollars. That's what you made last year running very various gigs but that's money you are just doing on the side but uh, this cannot this is nothing in comparison to the shop that you just opened especially luxury auto body shop now if you are looking to uh, fund your uh, specific startup operations then what you want to do is you want to think about the the best option for you maybe uh, a business credit card could be better or a personal loan could be better okay so the thing is maybe you don't have the ability to get an EIN only um, business loan right now, but you can definitely if you do if you do things properly. So what I'm trying to say here is that solution idea number one: decide what type of loan you need to fund your business. You got to be clear; it has to be clear for you because there is a constellation of business loans from uh, traditional loans to invoice fa factoring to uh, equipment financing to uh, merchant cash advance to a lot of things so you got to be really clear now if you have uh, questions about this particular section please send us an email or just comment in the uh, comment section below and we'll answer you solution idea number two travis you got to look at your situation okay you are 38 years old and you just opened your luxury auto body shop actually you opened it seven months ago and in fourth worth there are a lot of opportunities but the thing i want you to do is you need to you need to determine if you qualify at all to get a business loan because the thing here is that you you, you didn't tell us anything about you know whether or not you your business was legit because you just said, you know, I, I need to start, I need to start a business loan. But my question is, is your business legit? Have you filed all the paperwork necessary to get a, to let to uh, legitimize your business? Have, do you have uh, business licenses and permits? Do you have an EIN to start with? Do you have a uh, how do I? Uh, I mean, basically, do you have a business plan? Do you have business financials? Those are really important, okay? Do you have articles of incorporation if you are if you have an S Corp or C Corp? Or do you have articles of organization if you have an LLC or a partnership? So my thing is you have to really look at those things very clearly to know whether or not your business qualifies for a business loan business loan in the first place. And also in terms of your personal credit score. What kind of credit score do you have? Again, as I said before, there's no contradiction between EIN only and personal credit score because the lender ultimately is not basing their decision on your credit score, your personal credit score. They are basing their decision on the solidity of your application, including your EIN. That's what we call EIN only. Your EIN is not the, the nine digit that the IRS has given your ass to to track your whatever taxes you're paying. No, the, the IRS wants to make sure that the EIN is more than that. The, the Behind the EIN, you have your the solidity of your business. 
okay so one thing i want to make sure you understand is that you have to think about your credit score in terms of quali in terms of qualifying for the business loan how long you have been operating in your case it's seven months so make sure that the seven months are amenable to the business lender that you want to apply at okay and in terms of uh, your financial projections do you make enough money based on your projection do you anticipate to generate en enough revenue to pay back the loan because it's not just about people who, people just walk around and say you know i need a loan i need a eighty-seven thousand dollar loan i need a one hundred thousand dollar loan i need a one million dollar loan the question is are you in a position to repay the loan and this is a very simple question don't you try to razzle dazzle me with like hey you know if i if i make sales you know what if scenarios if i make those sales then i can qualify no 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 you know if you are in a position to repay the loan because you have said that that the sector is a great opportunity i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about um, Travis, and Travis just opened seven months ago a luxury auto body shop in Fort Worth, Texas, and he needs eighty-three thousand dollars for a startup cost, and he thinks the opportunity is huge in that sector in Texas. So, solution idea number three, Travis, you need to determine what payments you can afford. Yeah, I just mentioned that in the last section, but in this section, I really want to dig a little deeper. Why? Because the thing is, when we speak about getting a startup business loan, you got to think about how you're going to budget the, pay the repayment. Because you are going to have to repay the loan, of course, but you're going to have other expenses in the meantime. You're going to have, so your cash outflows will be diverse. And in addition to that, what if you don't generate enough revenue to cover the expenses? Where are you going to get the cash? So this is the kind of analysis I want you to get. I want you to get into for real. So you have a clear idea. What are the risks of you looking for an eighty-three thousand dollars start a business loan? Would you be able to still do your 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 gigs, your personal gigs on the side and generate revenue and generate some kind of cash to uh, allow you to live? If yes, that's kind of fine, okay? Because one thing you didn't mention in um, in your uh, email is that I don't know if you're married or you have children because those are additional sources of expenses. So you got to think holistically here, okay? So you so in determining what payments you can afford, you have to look at your personal cash flow position, your projected cash flows on the business side, okay? And uh, you need to decide whether and how you want to collateralize the loan. But collateral, if you have to collateralize the loan, are you going to take your existing personal asset or are you going to actually collateralize the loan by buying equipment for the business? In other words, you, you buy assets, business assets, and you use loans to actually finance the whole transaction. We would go with the, the option number two, the, the latter option. But my point in general is what it, it's just that if you want to determine the, the affordability of your of your of the payments you need to make sure that you always go for the worst case scenario meaning what what if you don't make a sale what if you your revenue actually dropped by 50 percent 75 percent how are you going to survive how are you going to repay the loan so this is what we call worst case scenario analysis and this is really important because if you if you can cover the worst case then everything else is fine Solution idea number seven. You need to actually uh, do a little bit of digging here. What I'm trying to say here is that don't go for one one lender. Travis, the thing is, you it, you know you want an, you want an eighty three thousand dollars startup business loan. You need to look at a constellation of uh, lenders, small business lenders, and in this category, you have to look at banks. You got to look at credit unions. You got to look at the, those banks and credit unions at the national level, but also at the local level. Maybe in Fort Worth, do you have uh, some um, some banks in the, in the area? This is important. OK. And the thing is, you have to understand is that 
A business loan from a bank works in a, in a specific way. And um, because banks, for instance, want you to be in business for at least two years. You need to have good credit and you don't need cash fast, which means what? Banks are very, very risk averse. The same thing is true for, for credit unions, most of them. And if you want to try uh, micro lenders, for example, they will want you to have uh, at least good credit or you are new business. But the, the thing with micro lenders is that they don't give a lot of cash. I mean, their cash is very, very small. I mean, you know, giving you 25 grand or 40 grand or 30 grand. In our view, this is a little small. But the thing is, just make sure that you look at the constellation of lenders. So I've, I've talked about traditional lenders. I've spoken about online lenders. I've spoken about micro lenders i've spoken about alternative lenders and in your case here you want to look for an alternative lender or an online lender someone like toro capital someone like press financial group an institution like um Lendio, which is a marketplace so this is where the juice can come from you the, the juice can come can come for you all right so the thing is don't forget that what, what, those, you have to apply so once you find the right business lender for you apply and preferably make sure you have a series of conversations over the phone or at the branch before you apply so they can ask you anything that anything they have for you and be ready to have uh, things like business loan proposal business plan okay there is a distinction to have between a business plan and a business loan proposal very important make sure you have your uh, your, your ein make sure that you have all uh, your business licenses and permits everything must be actually up updated must be current if you want to qualify for a, a startup business loan using EIN only. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. Travis, in today's conversation, we try to give you solution ideas for your problem. You need an $83,000 startup business loan using EIN only. And you are asking us how to actually apply, you know, the right way. So here you have it and one thing we want to say here is that uh, we actually invite our viewers to pitch in we invite all our viewers to actually uh, we welcome comments and uh, we believe that viewers some audience members may have gone through the same thing that you have gone through several years ago or are still going through that and uh, through collective wisdom we can find the best solution for you travis thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it i'll speak to you another time but until then remember stay Marvelous.